my channel. Okay, so I have started doing my elf mini bite size. We're using the pumpkin pie palette, right? But I realised this wasn't recording because I was trying to read to myself. So basically, I've got them and I'm going to do a little series of them. So what I've done is I've done my skincare. I've put the Primark water on and I used the matte elf primer and I've started putting the lightest shade of the brown onto my eyes and while I was like chatting away and doing this I was like, so anyway let's carry on so no what I was saying was as I'm filming this just now I think it's the 28th of February and I got some really lovely comments on the makeup that I had on in my things I've been loving video like, so, thank you so much, because it means the absolute world to me when people comment on any makeup that I've done, because there are so many beauty and makeup people out there that you do end up comparing yourself. So, Nels, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of these bite-sized palettes and just you know do a little look with them the only thing I don't have from e.l.f. is a mascara and I do not have a bronzer but I've got everything else because I didn't realise that when I placed the order for the bits that I didn't have and I still didn't have them. So it's a mostly full face of yellow. But I got a couple of these bite sized palettes in my stocking at Christmas. So I was like, right. And Elf is such an affordable brand. And then I've seen everybody using the Elf putty primers. And I'm just like, I've never had a putty primer, so I want in the game. <laughs> Now I'm just checking here because I've got my short moustache stuff there and I said I didn't have a mascara so I'm hoping that I've got one in here. I do, but it's green. Oh well, it'll have to do because I don't have another one through here with me. So that's a really lovely subtle colour and it's blended really well and we have no fold in. I haven't done my base yet. I've got a bit of U-Tan and Tone Spray on which is why I'm a bit more colourful than normal. So... I'm going to just, it's very subtle, I feel like it maybe needs a wee bit more on this side, but these are great, like see if you were, I don't know, you just wanted to buy a little gift for someone even, or somebody that's not super duper into major shadows or that and you just think right I want to buy them just a little gift or you could put them into like a starter kit like I know quite a few people that are like terrified of eyeshadows like they just they say they don't have a clue so they just don't wear them these would be quite perfect a little shadow just to pop on plus you know they're really easy to use and blend so far anyway I have no idea where there's glitter everywhere because there's no glitter in that but I seem to be seeing little particles of glitter but that's just blending like a dream so easy to blend. It was easier than that Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette. Why do I have glitter? It's very subtle. Very subtle. Okie cokey cokey then. I am going to get a smaller brush. Like not you. Maybe you. And I'm going to go into the deepest brown. And again I'm just tapping very lightly into it. I get my COVID vaccine tomorrow. Oh. I wasn't expecting the phone call. I was actually in the middle of filming a video. 
uh, the other day. I think it might have been Thursday, I can't remember. And then it came up on my phone saying, Dr. Collins, I thought, right, I better answer. And then they were like, we have a space for you to get your COVID vaccine on Monday at 5 to 3. And I was like, okay. So, fingers crossed after I get it. I don't have any side effects because I'm the queen of side effects. Especially like when I'm on antibiotics and anything. And I'm on antibiotics again because they didn't give me enough last week to get rid of the urine infection that I had. They only gave me three days worth and of course it never went away. So, touch wood, I have no side effects to this one that I'm on. But a couple of people that I know that have already had the COVID dag, they've said that they've felt like a bit shit for a couple of days after it, like low energy, a bit of a headache, stuff like that. So, we'll just have to see. But yeah, I wasn't expecting it as quickly. So. So I've got that to look forward to. For the beginning of my coming week. And then. Me, really. This week I'm going to be working on doing my period or decade of makeup look for the 80s. So I'm getting that submitted to college. I chose the 80s because it was born in 83 and I like the fact that 80s makeup there's like no rules, you know, it was all about colour bright lips, mad hair, and just, it's not precise or giving a damn, you know. So, I went for that. So I've already done my face chart, I've done my mood board, and I've added that into my PowerPoint. I forgot to do a PowerPoint where we add our bridal look, and then we add our, whatever period of makeup we decide, and I and then we've got to do a fantasy look, which I did the face chart for yesterday. And I've done, like I've got my mood board picture ideas for that, so. And then we're moving on to face paint. No, I don't want to face paint. I cannot draw. I just don't understand why they have to do this to me. Especially on a level one VCTC course. Like... Apparently this is a new course, like at the college, they've never done a level one, so we are the first thought to do it. And um, then it goes straight to level three with the makeup, and that's like prosthetics and, you know, special effects and all that, which personally doesn't float my boat, I couldn't care less about doing any of that. I just think, why not put face painting and that into that? But our lecturer, who obviously created the course as well, Raymond, he is like a fine artist and his main makeup sort of style is more like theatre and stuff like that. You know what I mean? He doesn't do much generic sort of makeup like bridal or glam. Like he can do all that, but that's mostly not what he does. Now, see, because I'm going to dip into this chocolate bar palette here. Uh, uh, actually, maybe not. I'm going to go into this little Natasha Denona. I just want this shade here just to blend it. Yeah, so, you know, he doesn't really do all that generic sort of makeup and that. And um, I think really... You know, I just think for a level one, 
it could have been left and not brought into this course but then that's just me because I can use all. So I ain't looking forward to that and I haven't even practiced yet because I'm just like whatever because he's like I want you to do some kind of animal or whatever and then he was like through it we'll be doing a caricature or something and I can't even remember what the last one he said but I'm like no. <sighs> right what do you think so far? I think it looks quite nice. It's nice and natural. Now, I'm going to go into this one first. They don't have names and I'm just going to use my ring finger. Ooh. I'm going to pet it onto the lid. Oh, wowzers. Look at that. That's gorgeous. That is really nice. I was doing makeup the other night, I didn't film it but I was just messed about and uh, I was using one of my Colourpop palettes. Now I know I get eczema on my eyelids so sometimes pigments really stick to uh, you know the dry areas but wowzers that's going on like a dream. And as smooth as a baby's. <laughs> I've got you balanced on a laundry basket. <laughs> I don't have proper filming set up, so I'm just I just work with what I've got. That is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I'm glad I haven't put my base on yet. That brush. Oh dear. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. I think I'm going to go back in. Oh, I'm getting pins and needles. I kept waking up last night with pins and needles in my hand as well. I'm going to go back in with the deepest brown. Just a little tad, just in this outer sort of corner, and just add it in just a wee bit. And then I need a clean brush. Just a wee bit. <laughs> Now the next step is where this could go horribly wrong for me and ruin the whole video. Okay, <laughs> I went and bought an e.l.f. liquid liner. Now, I notoriously mess up liquid liners, so I won't be talking through this and let's just hope I can do it. Picked up already. Great jelly. See, look, completely messed it up. I just cannot do liquid liner and it annoys me with these, with the pains, with any of it. My eye shakes the whole time. I'm 
mean, that one went slightly better, but. See, that one went better, but what is going on with this thing? Maybe it, there was just too much, because it's quite liquidy, actually. Now, as I say, most people would edit this out because they'd be like, oh, I can't show that, I've made a mistake, but do you know what? They don't match. They've gone wrong. I know it's gone wrong. Right, so I'll have to let that dry. It's quite liquidy, like very liquidy, which is why it kind of went peak tall on this side. So we'll just have a good flap at the moment. I mean, it's not great, and it's not not great. So the next thing is, and that one's thicker than that one by miles. But I don't want to mess about with it too much because if I do, then I'm gonna absolutely fuck it up. And the reason I decided to get one of these kind of liners rather than the pain ones was to see if I could I don't know, have more control of it. This is what my channel is like anyway, people, if you're new to it. I do not edit, one, because I haven't got the clue how to do it, and I probably mess it up, and two, because I like you to see honestly how it goes. I'm not saying that other YouTubers or influencers that edit aren't showing you the truth, but I think it would be nice if they actually showed you that it doesn't go to plan all the time. See, like that child agrees with me. They're just like, whatever. Look at the state of Julie's eyes. <laughs> right, they're not perfect, they're not great. I know that. Okay, let's move on. So I've got two concealers here and I picked it online, so I don't know if they're the right shades. I've got the Hydrating Cameo Concealer Satin. You might want to get a drink because you can see this going along. This is in light peach. And then I've got the 16 hour cameo matte finish one in light sand. I'm going to use the hydrating one first. Okay. And I'm just going to put a fair amount there, the new. Oh, that child is not happy, is it? Where's that my sponge? There you are. And I'm going to take my sponge. This is my number seven sponge. It's just got glitter on it as well. Yeah, that's, that's probably why I've got glitter on me. Oh my god. I was using it on my face chart. Do you know what? I'm actually quite happy with my attempt at that eyeliner. Do you know what? I know it's not great, but also, it's the body I'll try. Say God loves a trier, well. I've even tried just sitting with that different eyeliners and um, just putting that on my eyes and like nothing else. Okay, so the foundation that I picked up is the Satin Finish Medium Coverage and I picked it up in the shade Snow. So I don't know again what this is going to be like for me. And I think I'll just use the same sponge. I'll give it a wee spray. I don't normally wait my sponge. But I'll give it a wee spray with that. And then I'm going to put the, this in the back of my hand. And we'll see what it's like. Because I've also got that u tan and tone on. Yeah. 
I know this one won't be at all, but I'm loving how that one went. The only time I've ever like tried to put liquid liner on and it's just fluidly gone is when I've been drunk. Because <laughs> I remember like a couple of well, I say friends. I wouldn't say that my friends anymore, but anyway, it's not about that. They always wear liquid liner. And when we were drunk once, I was just like, Can I have a shot of that? And they were like, Yeah, and then I was like, I'm rubbish at this now. I went, and I'm like, look at that. A couple of girls, or one of the girls in my college class, was saying that maybe I overthink it and I'm just like, I can't do this, I can't do this, or it's going to go wrong. And they were like, maybe if I just see it as like I'm drunk, like that night, <laughs> and just whack it on. This colour is actually not bad. Even with me being that bit bronzed. Okay, so I've got this e.l.f. HD powder. It's a riot. It's thick in everywhere. I'm going to put it down there and I'm just going to take the end of my sponge there. And I'm going to it under those eyes. Now, as I said, I don't have a mascara by them, but I do have this Body Shop Green Mascara. So I'm just going to pop this on, because why not? I love green. There's nothing like a bit of teal to steal the deal. <laughs> I'm sorry I've got my goal open, but it's my mascara face. I've been thinking a lot about my hair colour and whether when we can get back to hairdressers whether I'm just going to go and get more brown and blonde put into my natural red hair even though I said I was going to maybe give it a try and let it all thing me out okay, okay. as I say this wing I'm more impressed with. So I'm going to go back into the little Elfie palette and I'm just going to take the small brushes that I used before. I'm going to dip into that and we're going to apply it underneath. <laughs> what is that face? I always think I would like have been, I don't know, attacked when I do the shadows underneath. It's like I've got pink eye or something, plus I get really sensitive and really dry underneath my eyes as well. So a lot of the time, I'm not the biggest fan of doing that, I'm not going to lie. And then the colour I didn't use was this one. I'm going to get the tiniest, tiniest little brush and I'm just going to see if I can add a wee bit of that into this inner corner. These palettes are lovely. Really, really lovely. Coconut. No. Oh. I don't have a bronzer for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this Tartist palette and I'm going to use a little bit of this bronze because this bronze crazy. Like it's actually crazy. 
I got this a couple of years ago for my Christmas or birthday and it's literally like mental how pigmented it is. Okay, dogs. Now for blush, I'm excited about this. Oh, okay. So I've got the Elf Mini Palette, which has got this one's called Watermelon, and it's got blush here and bronzer. But I also have the Elf Putty Blush. But I'm going to use the B Palette thing, I think. So let's go into the blush. It's quite a small little blush palette. But it's enough just to add on. Oh, that's gorgeous. I seen the what's her name? Hannah Martin doing this and then pushing the product into her hand because she was seeing it means that when you apply it's not just going straight onto that part of your face and staying there it's stippling into the brush and oh look at that and then i'm going to use the highlighter and i'm just going to turn my brush over Ooh, look at that shine people Flipping hell. Three pounds for this. Are you kidding? Shining to the gods. I'm not even remember which ones I've used. Okay, and then for eyebrows, I have this Elf Instant Lift Brow Pencil in Taupe. I don't know why I said it like that, but there you go. Spooly. And it's just a wee pencil. I don't really do anything to my eyebrows. I just don't. Probably because I'm not really sure where I need to add bits in. And they never match anyway, so. As you can see, I just don't have a clue what I do when it comes to eyebrows. And I'm sorry, but I really, I get so bored watching people doing their eyebrows and eyebrow videos. I just, I tend to skip it. I ain't gonna lie. And then, what else have I got from Elf? Nothing. So just a bit of scent spray. That's not scent spray. I've got a tiny little all-nighter here, because... Is it gonna squirt? I got this when I got my Wild Waste palette. Oh, I forgot my Elf. I've got an Elf oil, like lip oil, but it's in the living room. But yes, this is my finished look. I know the eyeliner wasn't perfect. But what do you think? I really like it. So guys, if you enjoyed this and you want to see more, because I'm going to use the other Elf stuff that I haven't used today, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell to be notified. I will leave a link in the iCard to my current running international giveaway for when I hit 2k subscribers. We're at 1,268 subscribers, so it's taken a long time. So please do, if you are watching and you're not subscribed, please subscribe because it's free, it helps me. It's free for you. You're here anyway. And yes, please do come back for some more elf treats. And let me know in the comments if you have tried any of this stuff. And if there's any other elf things you should suggest that I try. Thank you. Oh, and well done if you stuck to the end. Let me know if you did. Bye.